Hi, my name is Brandon Moon. I am the designer for all the Moonlit Furled Leaders. And that's what we're going to be talking to you today is about furled leaders. So furled leaders have been around for a couple hundred years in the fly fishing world. They used to be made out of horsehair and silk, natural materials. Now we've got a bunch of synthetic materials like polyester, monofilament, and fluorocarbon. Each of these materials are going to bring a different characteristic to your leader. Today, most furled leaders are made of straight thread. Okay, we make ours with a combination of thread and monofilament or thread and fluorocarbon. We use the strongest possible polyester thread on the market today. So let's do a little bit of history about furled leaders and how they're made. We already started and said they were made over 200 years ago. They're made like a small fine tapered rope. So they're twisted together a bunch of strands of material and that's going to add strength and durability. The other thing that it does is it's going to have less memory and it's going to give you better turnover, presentation, drift, control, and durability. These, <clears throat> these are things that are important in a leader. When you think of a regular tapered leader, you're not thinking of something that's strong and durable. People are getting a good season to two out of our furled leaders by simply changing out the tippet versus clipping down the leader and replacing the whole leader. You're gonna fish multiple sizes of tippet with one leader. We fish a wide variety of sizes of tippet from 0x all the way up to 7 and 8x on one, one leader. You're just gonna change out the tippet size to match your fly. The longer, the, the smaller the fly, the longer your tippet. We fish generally anywhere from two feet to seven feet of tippet on our furled leaders. This is a little bit longer tippet than normal on a furled leader, and that's because of how we construct ours, okay? Our furled leaders are constructed, again, with that combination of materials, and that's so that we add the stiffness to our leader that's needed to help turn over flies and cut through wind. A straight thread furled leader is just going to be too limp to really finish and turn over your fly at the end, especially in a windy situation. We live in Idaho, so wind is pretty common. So I'm going to pull out one of our furled leaders here just out of the package, okay? And I want you to take a look at the lack of memory that this has compared to a traditional tapered leader. So you can see that I have very little memory in this leader, okay? What this is going to do is I'm not going to spend time straightening out my leader before I hit the water. That gives me more time on the water. Also, not having that memory is going to transfer all the energy from my fly rod to the fly line to my fly, okay? It's going to give me better presentation and better drift because I'm not going to have all the micro drags from the energy stored in my regular tapered leader. So this is just a regular store-bought tapered leader here. And we'll just kind of take this out of the package and we'll see the difference between a furled leader and our furled leaders versus these tapered leaders. One thing we like to do is we like to store our leaders on a leader wheel that makes this unwrapping and pulling things off a lot easier because I don't have all that coil. But as you can see, I've got a lot of memory in this leader. Each of these memory coils is going to rob energy from my rod to my fly. And then I have to take, I can take a straightener and I can straighten this out and I can do all this and really work on this for a couple minutes and at the end of the day it's still going to hold a couple little bit of memory to it and you're really waiting until you catch a fish and it really pulls that nice and straight and tight to try and get that memory out. You don't have to do that with the furled leader you're just going to take pull it right out of the package 
go hit the water and fish. So <clears throat> our furled leaders come with a couple different attachments, okay? When you <clears throat> attach to the fly line, all of them are gonna come with a loop-to-loop -loop, and you're gonna attach to your fly line with a loop-to-loop -loop connection. But then you have the option of either a shore loop or a tip ring or a micro swivel with our furled leaders. This makes switching different flies and switching different uh, <clears throat> tippet a lot faster. You're gonna tie either an improved clinch knot, Orvis knot, Davy knot, whatever fly you tie to, or knot you tie to your fly, you're gonna tie to that tip ring or swivel. This is gonna make things quick, easy, effortless, but it's also going to save the durability of your leader and make them outlast any others on the market. Make sure and hit the subscribe button, then the bell, and hit all so you can receive all notifications from us. And don't forget to hit thumbs up and comment on our posts.